Hi, I'm Matt Kemp from the Underground Cookery School. I'm going to show you how to steam an artichoke and actually this is a great way of me showing you how to prepare an artichoke because believe it or not, that is the choke and you don't get an enormous amount out of it. And I'm, I'm going to show you how to get to that point first. Um, in actual fact, because we're going to steam these, I'm going to take the, uh, the stem off like that. And over here, I may as well get that off straight away. So I'm going to take that off. Um, and by the way, try and use a serrated edge knife. Um, I find that it works a lot better. Um, you then just have to peel off um, all the uh, skins. And people do eat these. They, they put, dip them in vinaigrette and suck them. Um, personally, I don't bother. Um, try and use a pair of gloves or, if you haven't got them, a pair of marigolds because uh, your hands get absolutely filthy when you do this job. So we've got all the leaves off and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut over the top of the artichoke and if you have a look you can see we've got the choke in the middle and we want to get that out so you scoop it out. Now this is not that hairy um, but sometimes they can be really hairy um, and I'm just going to get rid of that because it's completely inedible but what's also quite important is once we got rid of that is just to keep rubbing lemon juice into the fresh artichoke heart uh, and that's going to ensure that the heart doesn't discolour. So I'm actually going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in and rub it in like that. Um, what we're now going to do is just run the knife all the way round and I remember Marco Pierre White in a book I once read told me that he used to tell his staff that he wanted nice round edges and not the artichoke to resemble a 50p piece. I never forgot that. Um, what you want to do is just make the base nice and flat because we're going to rest that onto our steamer um, so that we can then ultimately complete the job. There we go. Now this one is a little bit bigger than the last one so don't worry too much. So like I say, just take the end off like that and it will sit. Well, I haven't done that particularly well. That's a better one. There. So it's now flush. Um, and what we're going to do is steam both the chokes. Now actually what I've done here, if you see, there's an outer edge and there's no outer edge there. And what we want to do is get that outer edge off now because um, it's really inedible. And if people eat it, they're going to have a bit of a, they're going to have a mighty chew. There we go. So that's more in line with the other one. Just take off any excess choke that we've got there. I've got just a conventional roasting tin and I've got a rack. And if you put the artichokes on top, it is quite hot, so I'm just going to pour the water in, there we go. I mean clearly if you have a steamer at home, one of those things that you put into a pan, then that would suffice, I mean that would be perfect. Um, but I do find a lot of cooking is about improvising, particularly with equipment and there's always a way, you've just got to work it out. I once had to do a dinner party for 10 people in an oven that didn't have any shelves in it. That's our steamer prepared and that can go in the oven. If I was really uh, clever, what I would have done is open the shelf of the oven, poured the hot water in and stuck it in. But I like to, you know, create a bit of tension when cooking because, you know, I might burn myself. And, you know, sort of live video watching is always fun. So in that goes. And those should steam in about 20 odd minutes on 160 degrees, but cooking times do vary. That's a very quick oven and you may find a conventional domestic oven that isn't fan assisted might take um, a similar amount of time, but perhaps on 170 or gas mark six stroke seven. Right, we're gonna have a look at those artichokes now. Um, you've got to be quite careful when, when taking these out because 
if you sort of lean over the steamer and take the tin foil off, the steam can sort of hit you in the face and it's not particularly pleasant. Um, but if you do it away from you, like that, there we go. Look at those two little babies. Seems like an awful lot of work, but boy, is it worth it. So um, we've got our steamed artichokes here. I'm just going to put one on top of the other. Um, seems like an awful lot of work, but um, I can assure you it's definitely worth it, particularly if you're an artichoke lover. Um, you know, you could, um, once they've cooled down, they would be wonderful in a terrine. Um, uh, now that they're cooked, you could add them to the, the finishing touch to a pasta dish or possibly even a risotto. But now I'm pleased to tell you, you know how to steam an artichoke and indeed um, prepare an artichoke as well.